check it out. One of my followers reached out to me on my personal Instagram and he was asking me a question, okay? He said, when is the next time that you're gonna do a monthly designer collection video? And I said, you know what, for real, I haven't done a monthly designer collection video in quite some time. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do one. But this particular collection that I have here is part of my own personal collection. It's not all of my jackets, but it's just some of them that I've got in, so I wanna get straight into it. So let's go. Do you know what, I forgot the name of this jacket, but this jacket is a pretty dope jacket. This is the Montclair Savine. I'm gonna teach you a little trick today. If you want to know when your Montclair jacket was released, go into the care label. And if you look here, you will see in the middle there, it says two zero. See this line right here? If you always look at this number in here, it will tell you when the year of your jacket is. This one here says 20, so you know it's 2020. If it says 19, it's 2019. If it says, if it says 18, it's 2018, okay? But yeah, that's how you can tell the year of any Montclair jacket. Top tip, I managed to pick this jacket up and yeah, you know me, I love my little bit of pink. You can tell by the t-shirt. I would usually wear a darker color inside, but you know, yeah, it is what it is. I'm wearing a pink shirt. So yeah, we'll crack on. Arm badge on the side of there, but what I love about this one is it's got a reflective, on the back of the collar there, it's got a nice reflective text print all the way around saying Montclair. I have all these jackets because I am what is considered a serious collector. I love jackets. It's by no means normal to have this many jackets. And I wouldn't encourage you to have this many jackets because it's a lot of money to spend on clothing. It's got a nice pocket on the side there. You've got the Certi logo on the inside of the jacket, which can be seen right here. Now, one thing I would like to note about this jacket is it's also slightly water resistant, something that I'm really happy to see Montclair do. Some of their jackets have been coming more water resistant as of late, but yeah, for the price in they're selling their jackets, they do need to be water resistant. So the next jacket that I want to tell you about is this Montclair jacket. Another one of part of my collection that I absolutely love, but what I love about this one is it's got the massive Montclair logo on the arm and it's all in black as well. Unfortunately, this one is not water resistant like the Savine. This is called the Frisian. Frisian? Frisian. Frisian. I want to tell you about my guys' shoe stack, the number one shoe storage solution in the UK. They're based over in Edinburgh, and you know what? They're a really nice bunch of guys. In fact, they were actually followers of the Hoxton trend before they started the shoe stack. They started off small, and now they're growing pretty big. Okay, so you know you guys that love your trainers, you want to put them in your little boxes and put them in the room, and you stack them up, and it looks quite, quite nice. That's exactly what they do. But not only that, they do cleaning wipes, they do shoe trees, they do trainer creases. What else do they do? Oh yeah, shoe horns as well. They do lots of accessories. I am going to be doing a giveaway for my followers for some of these shoe boxes and some of the accessories as well. Now each pack contains two shoe boxes. Now there's two available colors. There's the see-through boxes and there's also the black boxes as well. But not only that, they do an LED box, but that's sold out. But they promised there's going to be a restock coming soon. So make sure you tune into their Instagram to find out when that drop is going to happen. So listen, if you want to take part in the competition you want to win yourself a pack of two boxes and some accessories follow shoe stack on their instagram and then go to their website go to the contacts page and send them a message okay put your name your details your email and send them a message saying winner i'm going to put all of that in the description box below so just in case you want to go through it again go down to the description and you'll see the details on how to take part hopefully you guys can win a few and if you don't win it you can go ahead and buy it yeah support the ting uk ting you know it makes sense absolutely love this one is one of my favorites as well i like this one because it's just pretty simple normal bomber jacket you wouldn't think too much of it if you saw it but then when you turn to the side you see the nice Montclair logo on the arm there i feel the black and the metallic zip really have a nice contrast one thing i would say is if you like to wear this tight and usually tighten it up with the pull cords when you get back undo that and make sure that it's open and fully stretched because keeping it kind of um, compressed and tight for a long period of time it can cause like fraying it can sometimes mean the loophole bit separates from the fabric that is something that i have noticed so just make sure when you get back just put it back to normal and tighten the pull cord so it's back to normal so moving on to another jacket that i absolutely love one of my favorite winter jackets and a jacket that i do recommend although the price points are crazy so i don't recommend you pay rrp on these ones okay but this one is the burberry long down jacket really really well padded lots of really good insulation on this one it is super super puffy in fact this one i would only wear when it gets really cold i would definitely say in terms of warmth this definitely matches like up to the Canada Goose the one thing I would say about this is it's not very highly water resistant it's water resistant but not that much so if I got caught out in torrential downpouring this then I would actually probably be in a little bit of trouble so I'd be concerned 
concerned about that. But a little tiny bit of rain, it shouldn't be too bad. Loving the Burberry bit on the neck. I think that's the bit that really stands out and the bit that people like because the jacket itself, if it didn't have this, you just wouldn't really notice it's a Burberry. Do have the arm badge there, which is really nice. So Burberry London. And it did cost me an arm and a leg. Personally, I think if you can try and source one, you can try and source one from eBay or you can try our Facebook group, Hawks and Marketplace. Sometimes people are selling on there. Sometimes I do come across Burberry bits as well. So you can also try my personal page, Hoxton's Wardrobe, where I do a lot of trading and selling on there. So you can also check me on there. Yeah, another Burberry jacket. This one I actually picked up from the Burberry outlet over in Hackney. I've done a video on them already, but I still paid mad cheese for this. So even though it was on sale, Burberry prices originally are mad crazy, really, really high anyway. So a sale on that is still gonna be mad cr crazy, really expensive. Anyway, this jacket here is a mental, mental jacket. So it's half polyamide out of construction with a wool construction as well, going all the way around the hood. But all this bit is wool, all around the arm is wool as well. And I believe, yet yeah, the pockets all down the lower part of this jacket is all wool down this side as well. So super nice. Another thing I like about this, is it's got some toggle attachments at the front. So rather than a zip, it's just more of a toggle feature on like a duffel coat or a pea coat or something. So again, that that is something that I think is a really nice feature. Nice, really big, oversized type of wizard hood, which is really quite, quite cool. But again, you'd be surprised, but this jacket here, um, it's not gonna keep you too protected from the rain. It is water resistant, but it's not a high water resistant. So you'd be surprised. You go and spend mad money on these jackets and they don't have this uh, high water resistance that you could find from lots of lower price jackets like North Face and stuff like that, for example. Funny enough, I'll tell you a story. So the guys that started this brand, who are based right here in the UK, were actually big fans of the video in the early days. Apparently they used the um, videos to do a lot of referencing, things like zips, quality, materials. They watched the videos and got a lot of inspiration apparently for this jacket, so much so that they themselves, as you can see, they did go ahead and use Lampo zips that you see right there. You used to see those back in Stone Island back in the day and also Montclair. Because I think they're a little bit more expensive, not as many brands use them anymore. They tend to use Vizlon YKK zippers, which are still very good quality, but I think the Lampo ones are a little bit more expensive. This jacket also has a low level of water resistancy, so it's not highly water resistant, but it's just enough if it starts to rain to protect you from the element. All the padding and the down on the inside of this jacket is recyclable materials, which moving forward, I think that's something that is really important. And I think a lot of people should take note on these kind of sustainable jackets, okay? Contrast hood, as you can see right there, just feels really nice. It feels really fit. It kind of reminds me of those really kind of long football coats in a way. So it's got a nice long weight to it, as you can see see right there I can just about show it to you really nice pockets that you can see there with some button fast fastening nice uh, material there reminds me of the Montclair logo a little bit but yeah totally wicked jacket this one I, I don't really wear this one too much actually to be honest I just feel like it's a bit too special to wear it's an amazing jacket now this one actually has a high level of it has a very high level of water resistance on this one, which is absolutely wicked to see from a Montclair jacket. Possibly one of the highest water resistance I've come across. So it's a real technical piece, this one. The outer material almost looks like it has like a ripstop technology. So there's a little bit of cross hatching that's going through on the material, but it's absolutely stunning. I haven't come across many like this. It's got the uh, white Montclair badge there in this kind of rubber material, but also what I love is the pull cords, which hang down. So if I was to do this up, it would just hang down uh, really nicely. Even the material on the uh, collar is a little bit different it's a little bit more thick and ridge and inside that houses a really nice hood which can come up and on the back of that hood it's got the Montclair logo so yeah it, as you open that up it just develops with more features and looks more stunning in my opinion so I did actually have two of these but I sold one and I kept one so yeah I did yeah and I kept one of course Right, I fear that this one is actually getting a bit too small for me, so I might have to sell this one, which is really sad. This one is called the Constable. This is not available anymore from Canada Goose, so it's quite rare now. And it's basically, if you know the Mon um, Canada Goose Maitland jacket, this is a longer version of that jacket. Hard to get the camo stuff, and I haven't seen them do much camo stuff as of late, but hopefully Canada Goose will be doing some more um, camo stuff in future. But oh my gosh, their new pricing is absolutely, ugh, it's just insane. Their, their new pricing, 
pattern is crazy. Like jackets are over a thousand pounds now. I personally think this, this is really high pricing for the jacket. Um, moving into territories, which I just think is just, is just very expensive. I will be doing videos trying to showcase some lower price alternatives because I'm sure there's going to be lots of people that don't want to spend crazy money on Canada Goose this year. And even it might even be recommended to try and look for things like um, pre-owned uh, marketplaces, particularly, definitely, definitely check out uh, my um, Instagram page, Hoxton's Wardrobe, where I do pre-owned and near new and sometimes new Canada Goose, but also check out our Facebook group, HMP, Hoxton's Marketplace, because our sellers do some mad deals and steals on there as well. So that is also worth checking out. So the next one I want to show you is this Power Jumpers jacket, which for me is one of my key jackets for the winter. I love this one because it's just got that kind of military vibe or that kind of flight jacket kind of vibe, which I love. The weight is really nice on it as well. And it just, it it really does feel quality. Hold on, what have I found in here? I always do this. I always leave stuff in my jacket and then I, I come back and I realized, oh, wait for it. Okay, okay. Right, got some Marc Jacobs sunglasses in there. I always do that. I put stuff in the jacket, I store it away and then I can't find the item anymore. But yeah, anyway, we digress. This is the Power Jumpers Gobi. Actually, this jacket I think was like 750. I managed to pick it up in a really cool sale for like 450. Plus we had a discount code, so I think it ended up paying like 410 or 400, which is a, I think is a really, really good price for this jacket. Got this kind of yellow um, pool bit here, which I don't really know what it does, but I just think it looks cool just hanging down there. And it has a nice contrast to the jacket. Now, unfortunately, the water resistance on this one, surprisingly, is not super high. It does have a low water resistance, but if it gets torrential, you might be in trouble. But light rain, you'll be good. But in terms of warmth and padding and comfort and weight, durability this jacket definitely for me is one to watch out for so a lot of people will be saying where's the stone island where's the stone island well i got at least one piece in the collection and it is this one right here this is the stone island um quinkle reps down parker let me just double check because my brain's getting a bit fuzzy these days so i can't remember anything sure it's crinkle reps or is it garment dyed maybe it's garment dyed so this is the garment dyed crinkle reps so it's a bit of both so this is the garment dyed crinkle reps puffer jacket in the longer version this jacket was made popular by drake wearing this one and i don't know where he wore it but he wore it and since then everyone was like where do i get that version really really hard color to come across it was available in i think there was a navy a black i had the black and then this one um actually i had quite a few of the black ones and i had quite a few of this, these ones and i sold them all nice down insulation on it so there's a zip there take that off there's a little kind of really thin floppy hood on there so you can just put that on really kind of iconic piece so um, it's not part of the current collection it's quite a few seasons ago so this one you're probably looking at marketplaces if you want to get something like this because i will not be selling mine unless it gets too small but then i'll probably just keep it anyway but yeah, this CP Company long Parker jacket. Now I've always looked at this one as the CP Company Parker of a version of the previous Stone Island jacket that I just showed you. It just feels very, very similar to me. High water resistance to it as well. I have tested it out. I have had this in heavy rain. It held up really, really well. You've got the CP Company arm badge in there. So you've got that nice subtleness about the jacket for those who are kind of switching away and don't want to see the badge all the time. I just think this one is really, really, really well made. Contrasting pockets on the inside. YKK zippers so that you've got long standing zippers that will stand the test of time. Nice hood attached on there as well goes with nicely with the hat actually Ho hood is not removable inside you've got fleece pockets as well so just like the Canada goose hands get warm a little bit wet in there run rummage it around should come out nice and dry and warm so yeah i am going to dwindle this down to the last three pieces now uh, of the collection as i said i do have lots more jackets than this but this i'm just going to show you the winter stuff that i'm probably going to be looking to wear this winter and the rest of the stuff i'm just going to pack it up but i can show you those another time okay um, i've got some stone island grails i can show you but yeah we'll do that in another video maybe next month to keep this collection video going but one of the ones that i need to show you is this bell star sherpa jacket again another one of my favorites real gangster gangster if you've seen um lock stock and two smoking barrels it lock stock snatch snatch if you see snatch one of my favorite films um if you remember brick top i just feel like this is the type of jacket that brick top would wear in that movie really really nice classic bell staff jacket amazing 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 collectors this jacket was actually worn not this particular piece but the model of this jacket was worn in the um, inglorious bastards movie with brad pitt i think the jacket was even made for that role but mate when i 
saw that jacket, I knew I had to get my hands on it. Luckily, I had a contact over in Germany at that time who sold it to me for some bit of a ridiculous price because the jacket's actually worth several thousands. I actually paid several hundred, so this is a grill piece and I won't be selling this. I will not, I'll be keeping this jacket right here. That's the, um, that's the Bellstaff badge. Got this leather on the arms, which is really, really hard wearing and this real Sherpa uh, material going all the way around and coming right down like that so yeah and every time i wear it people always ask where'd you get that jacket because it is quite unique and a little bit different the only thing now is it does need a bit of a clean so i'm gonna have to try and get this to a specialist because these have to be cleaned in a very very particular um specialist way so this is not something i can just take to the dry cleaners or put in the washing machine this is a very very special jacket okay now from my stony collection and this one, I have a Stone Island pea coat. This is called the uh, Special P Pano Speciale. Sounds like a like a sounds like a, like a cake or I don't know. It sounds like a dessert or something. But yeah, look, still even got the receipt in here as well. Five hundred and twenty-five euros um, that I paid for it in a size XL when I went over to the Milan store. So yeah, funny enough, this was back in, when was this again? 2014. And now these, this was 525 euros. I swear I saw this and it was like around seven or 800. So prices of this is really, uh, really shut up. Lovely detail throughout, especially when you kind of open it up and see the collar, you can see the wall contrast in there, you can see the buttons, you can see the part where, where it kind of locks around the front if you want to tighten it up and protect your neck. The type of jacket that you can always wear and it will always remain in fashion, you know, it's, it's not overdone. Nice for the older guy as well, or for the younger guy that just wants to be a bit more mature and not have something too stand out. These are definitely the type of jackets that I think every guys should kind of have in their collection the last piece is this stone island leather jacket i haven't come across this anywhere else and it's a really really special piece this is called the waxed soft leather jacket now it's a mix of leather material and wool so the pockets there you can see a wool the lower pockets there are wool as well nice cotton finishing on the inside of the collar so it feels really comfortable also the trims on the inside there are wool as well and i can have it like that so i feel like a bit, little bit like blade from um yeah is it the movie blade yeah with the vampires you know the guy i'm talking about wesley snipes ksh, 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 ksh. Jing, jing. Oof, this is a really special piece this one it does come with the badge just haven't got the badge on it right let's grab this badge let's put that on i can't stretch you know how it looks i'm too lazy to stretch but yeah that's just the badge on, just in case you're wondering. Type of piece where it will just stand the test of time. It's not overly done. It's just kind of a really like mature, kind of, you know, sophisticated jacket. Uh, it goes well for most occasions. And I, and I absolutely love it. So yeah, really, really nice. I'm out of here. Lots more coming. Peace.